man should have left it alone. Should have left it alone. So in its cocoon, at the time of the process that it was ready to come out, it came out a beautiful butterfly. But he thought it was heaven. So he snipped it. And the wings shriveled up and it never came to full fruition. So I'm, I'm thinking, if the moth died. Okay, God is doing something with us in the process of the discipline that he gives us, the correction that he gives us, and the endurance that he wants us to walk in. He's doing something in all of that. And so this morning, I don't know what your moments of struggle are. I don't know what you're going through this morning. But you need to go through the process. Yeah. You can't take any shortcuts. Yeah. I'll wait for the amen to die and I ain't hear nobody say amen. Yeah. Yeah. You can't take any shortcuts. God don't want you to go over. He don't want you to go under. Mm -hmm. He wants you to go through. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yes, he does. You gotta go through, Pastor. You just don't know. I've been, I've been, you know, sleepless nights, crying. I can't right. do this. And every time I turn around, I'm trying to do the best I can. Keep going through. Amen. After a while, by and by. He is going to survive you. Watch this. We've been there and do it for a night. Right. But joy is going to come in the morning. Come on, man. You know what that means? Yeah. Change is going to come. Y'all remember that boy? Yes, sir. He used to sit on the dock of the bed. A <laughs> change is going to come. A change is going to come. But you got to go through the process. you got to go through this morning, y'all. I don't know what it is that you're going through this morning, but I don't want you to go through the new year. I don't want you to go into the new year struggling. And I'm not saying that you're not going to struggle because we're human. We're going to go through human struggles. I'm saying, learn how to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ, the author who's writing your story, and the perfecter who lived faith perfectly. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. And if you live just, if you live right, mm. faith is going to get you through. Amen. Faith is going to help you through the process every time. Yes, it is. Faith is going to help you through the process every time. You have to believe in God. You have to believe in God. Yes. Don't lean on to your own understanding. This is what I'm going to leave y'all with. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. This is going to help you in struggle. Mm -hmm. Lean out onto your own understanding. This is going to help you in your struggle. Amen. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Tell him, Lord, you know this is what I'm struggling with. You got to say it. Yes, sir. See, you want to, see, you want to cut corners and act like you don't know what you're struggling with. Come Lord, on. I'm struggling with lying. Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with stealing. Lord, I'm struggling with adultery. I'm struggling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with homosexual tendencies. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's why I'm asking men the question, do you like men? And I don't mean... I, I love Troy, I love Diggs Fool, I love Brother Tony, I love the I love Funny way. I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> My love is unconditional. <laughs> it's filial. Yeah, yeah, it's brotherly. Yeah, yeah. That's right, It's Colonia. Spouse. He's a human. Love. He's a human. Don't get it. It ain't heroes. Don't get it. That's the hard question. Because, you know, some people are struggling with that stuff. That's right. See, if you don't get down to the bottom of that, uh -oh. this is what I'm going to leave y'all with. Then how will you be healed? Come on, if we don't be honest with each other, if we don't tell the truth, then where's the deliverance? I'm just trying to help somebody. Because I'm struggling. But I ask the Lord to help me. Or I'll put it at the foot of the cross and I'll leave it there. It's not a burden. And I'm not burdened. I'm not stressed. And I ain't tripping. Amen. I'm not depressed. Amen. Because he got me in his hands. Amen. I preached a couple weeks ago. He got you in his hands. Amen. That's when he got you in his hands. Yeah. You don't have to carry it. Nope. He already said it in the scripture right here. He's already taking it away from you. All right. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet.